I want to welcome you to God's presence this very hour because the Lord has a message for you and that message is the message of transformation and his message that will turn your story around. The Bible says he sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. It is the word that delivered. It is the word that delivered. It just a word can transform your life, can turn every situation of your life around. And I want you to sit back and listen to the word of the Lord from the mouth of his servant, the Apostle Jesus Shana. And I also want you, if you have not subscribed to this channel, do so to subscribe so that they, so that you too can bring this message before other people. I want to encourage you to set your heart on what God has. It is time to hear the word of the Lord and may you remain blessed as you walk with the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen attention on their spiritual development the the ease with which people globally speaking are swayed left and right by the vicissitudes of life has demonstrated practically that there were lots of religious activities happening around christian circles but the growth and the maturity that the word of god brings was not found in many people and i pray that god will grant us an appetite to really be solid solid based on the word of god i want to encourage our hearts very briefly and then we'll do some housekeeping and we're done for the night i just thought about what i would share with as many who are here and um i call it weapons of exploits and victory again i want to share with you weapons of victory and weapons of exploits that these are the kingdom keys that control victory in the spirit every believer has been called into the life of victory every single believer the bible lets us know that we have been called with a high calling in christ every believer is destined to be a true reflection of the life the glory the character and the power of god but sadly many believers never get to manifest the fullness of that potential and i want to share with you for some of you this may be a reminder for some of you this may be truth coming in another dimension for some of you this may be new but it doesn't matter how it comes to you i pray in the name of jesus that you take this as god giving you a chance once again to pay attention to the voice of the spirit not paying attention to spiritual things can cost you it can cost you more than you can imagine it can cost you your destiny it can cost you your relevance again i have taught and i will continue to teach that god is not an emotional god god is a god of principles and patterns at the expense of the eternal destiny of people god still allows them to make choices whether they desire him or the devil god has never as far as we know had a reason to say look i'm so compassionate about the people in hell i want to go there and bring them out he's made a way it is up to you to subscribe to his patterns if god can allow people go to hell because of their choices then you better take seriously the ways of god because if there was anybody to be considered it would be those in hell first even before those alive and that god can actually sit on his throne and watch someone go to hell watch a nation and maybe an, a, a, a hedonistic nation and yet he's a merciful god he should tell you how strict he is with his patterns are we blessed so i pray that as i share these things once again it will dawn on you and you will respect the truth of god's word and make up your mind tonight that as for me and my house as for me and my destiny as for me and all who are within my care i will stake my life at this word every other thing will come and fail and come and fail but the word of God is the stabilizer of destinies. Are we together? Number one, the first weapon according to scripture that guarantees the victory of a believer and the exploit of a believer in this kingdom. Do you know why I'm teaching you this? Look up. If you do not understand the ways of God, I hate to tell you this, but you will fail in life. And the challenge is that when you begin to fail in life, you will be frustrated. The truths that you hear are the kingdom keys that control exploits in the kingdom and bring you a life of beauty and color and relevance i have said it to you and i have proven it again 
that where you are and the conditions that surround your life is not an excuse at all from where you are you can take this word and rise to the ends of the earth and i pray in the name of jesus that if once again god will give you the eyes to see this night hallelujah number one the first kingdom key is your love your hunger and your pursuit for god the first key that controls the relevance of a believer in this kingdom is your love your hunger and your pursuit for god in the beginning god in the beginning god this is where many believers miss it you will be surprised how many people have different motives and different motivations for the pursuit of god i don't have a problem with you fasting i don't have a problem with you praying I don't have a problem with you going to church i don't have a problem with you subscribing to the disciplines of a spiritual life but i have said it on this platform that god will continually vet your motif until he finds the purity of pursuit that if at any point god finds out that you are only using him to make a name you will be shocked and surprised that you will do everything right and yet you will not rise you don't have to do wrong things to remain on the floor the the purity and the sincerity of your passion first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9 i am yet to see one genuine lover of god in truth a genuine lover of god in truth hear what i'm saying a genuine lover of god in truth who ended up a failure a nonentity no sir let god be true and let every man be a liar the bible says but as it is written i had not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which god has done what prepare 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 means he's expecting you to partake of it if i prepare a meal it means i'm expecting a guest to come God did not prepare them for himself. The Bible says he prepared them for them that love him. The challenge with many believers is that we continue to wallow in self-deception that we love God. Just because we are around church things, listen carefully, just because you sing Christian songs, just because you run away from bad companies, wonderful, but loving God is more than that. A genuine passion for God that is higher than your ambition that is higher than your desire for success and fame that is higher than your desire for a name that is higher than your desire for influence and relevance no you cannot give god that kind of sacrifice and he does not respond back from heaven it's impossible i've had the privilege of knowing relating and meeting extremely great people it's an honor god has given me i know their history i can tell you without any contradiction not one of them who became great from a kingdom dimension just became great by pursuing ambition it was never in their heart to seek power fame money relevance they were just lovers of god that if you never bless me i still love you if i never have the opportunity to serve in your house i still love you if i never have the opportunity to preach i still love you the proof of passion is pursuit if you are passionate about a thing you must pursue it the laxity in our seeking god the laxity in our hunger our drive i've traveled extensively within the maybe the last few months and i've been amazed that just because there was a lockdown for a few months many believers went down and became as cold as ice these are people who were vibrant so don't blame peter for leaving jesus just for three days that within a period of four five six seven months without a constructed mentorship many people's lives just went down and you can almost look and wonder did you ever get born again it is a call to re-examine what really brought us to the faith life you've heard me say it again listen the motivation that drives you to seek god will become the sustaining power in your pursuit 
if that motivation is to know God even if it's after 30 years you've not known him you will keep seeking him but if your motivation is to make a name your motivation is to have fame Apostle Joshua Selman eventually you will be disappointed you will be tired and you will be weary we're discussing the first key that governs a life of victory and a life of exploit in this kingdom our hunger our pursuit many people's prayer altar is nothing to talk about what study life complete zero they can't even find their flash where they put messages again completely many have become literally hedonistic I do appreciate the Lord on your behalf because I believe that you listen to the word of the Lord and I believe that the, the word of the Lord has done something in your life and I join you to pray that whatever declaration or vision or idea that God brings into your mind may it come to pass in the name of Jesus. May it manifest in your life speedily in the name of Jesus. I still want to encourage you if you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe, make a comment. If you believe that God has blessed you and God has reached out to you through this message, tap Amen. Type Amen on, on the comment section and remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.